What's up everyone? I'm Jamie with Three Little Goats Homestead and it's going to be a busy and expensive day today. So today we have to make a feed run. We're pretty much out of feed again. But we also have to have the vet out because yesterday Jesse was working on the well house and as he was walking back and forth to the the, the box for the well house he came across what we could only describe as a very young baby cow so one of the girls have miscarried and i don't know which one none of them are showing any signs of miscarrying but it was definitely a very underdeveloped calf that we found i have my sinking suspicions that it might be b because she was kind of showing signs of heat yesterday so we're gonna have the vet come out and just palpate all the girls and hopefully talk about getting red ai because we do have our tank now with our straws which we affectionately call our bull so we're going to talk to her about aiing and the great thing this is a new vet coming out great thing about it is she's very local so when we see signs of red going into heat we can call her and she'll come out that day in ai which is just amazing but because we weren't expecting to have her out to palpate all the cows it's an unexpected expense so we're going to have to tap into our farm emergency fund now if you have livestock or you plan on ever having livestock if you don't have a farm emergency fund you're going to regret it quickly i very rarely ever have to have the vet out for any of our animals the goats i've had to take the goats two goats to the vet total in the 14 years that i've owned goats because well i've learned how to manage them myself and i can do a lot of their treatments myself cattle are fairly new we've only raised cattle for two years and even so, some things I just, I'm not capable of doing. Like, I can't ultrasound these girls, which I don't think I'll ever get an ultrasound to be able to ultrasound the girls. Eventually, I do want to take the class on palpating and AI so we can do all of that ourselves. But if, say, one of them has a miscarriage and they get sick, I definitely need the vet for that because that would require medications that I can't get over the counter. So thankfully we have some great vets in the area that if I do need antibiotics for something, they can just let me buy them from them and they won't necessarily have to come out because we know them. But having to have a vet out to palpate, how many cows do I have that are pregnant? One, two, three, four, five. Five? Do I have five or do I have four? How many cows are pregnant? You got Z, Susan, Deb, no, not Deb, Sass, Sassy, and B. So I have got four cows that will need to be palpated today. I definitely don't think it was Susan because she is due in December. And I don't think it was Sassy because she's due January, February time frame. So, and then Z is due in April, which the size of this calf that we found... I'm, I'm thinking it was probably B. It has to be. It's the, only, it's the only one I can figure for the size of the calf and how far along she is. B is our newest cow. She wasn't very far along when we got her. So, I don't know. Maybe. When you think you have it figured out, it's usually completely opposite of what you think. So, I'm just going to let the vet figure it out for me. So let's go. Our emergency fund isn't just for, say, vet costs. It is for anything, really, to do with the farm. Say, our, our tractor breaks. We don't have a trailer big enough to trailer that tractor, even though it's under warranty. So we would still have to pay someone to get that to the dealership to get fixed. Eventually, we will get a trailer big enough, but it's just, it's not in the budget. It's just cheaper for us to hire someone to move it to the dealership and the dealership will actually deliver it back but that's why we have an emergency fund if something goes wrong with the tractor say we weren't able to hay our fields 
and get a second cutting off of it. That emergency fund will go towards hay for the winter. It's just nice to have that little bit of cushion that we can tap into if we have to spend it. I'd rather spend out of the emergency fund than out of our savings fund. So that's why we have it. Now will I say that I have tapped into this fund to say, I don't know, buy a cow? Yes, yes I have. <laughs> but that's because we put into our emergency fund every month and if we have a surplus, we can pull that out and buy something that we need like a tractor implement or a cow. Even though we don't necessarily need the cow, I need a cow, who am I joking? We, I always need cows. But we have that emergency fund that we can tap into. Now, I don't like tapping into it unless we have a good amount saved up because vet bills can get really expensive. We're lucky enough that our last vet to come out to palpate four cows, she only charged us $120, which isn't bad, seeing how we kind of live in the middle of nowhere. And she was coming from a bigger town, so she actually had to drive about an hour to get here. So. It wasn't bad for for us to pay the $120. I thought for sure it was going to be more. But obviously if we had to get any type of medications or anything like that, it would have cost even more because medications are very expensive even for livestock. Dabby, I don't I don't need your help counting the feed bags. Okay, so it's dark in here. So it looks like we've got quite a bit of alfalfa left, which is good. We've got a bag of pig down there and a bag of chicken, which I'm kind of surprised by. So it looks like we need Chucky's feed, more alfalfa, and goat feed. So it's not too bad, but still, still a lot of feed. So I guess we will get ready to head out to the feed store and then this afternoon the vet will be out. Now I don't know if she's going to let me film. If she doesn't, that's perfectly fine. I will update you guys when she leaves. The river's gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. The river's gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. The river's gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. The river's gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. So we are back home. Let's get this shelf filled. There we go. Much better. Oh, lace is out, Finkel. There's no tag on it. No tag. It's, it's a good thing that the only one that's orange is the pigs. I gotta have my my tags out. Yeah, there was no tag. That's why it's in there like that. All right, so the, I'll let Jesse go ahead because that's really loud. <laughs> so the vet just left and it's not exactly what we wanted to hear. I had her repalpate Susan and then Sassy, B, and Z. And Susan is still on track to calve at the end of December sometime and then Betty is open, which we weren't sure if she was bred or not. We were told she was bred, but again, I don't believe anything until I have confirmation. So she is open. And then it turns out that the cow that miscarried was Sassy, which is really disappointing. She was going to be due January, February time frame, but obviously that's not the case now. I'm just glad I didn't dry her up because we were actually getting ready to dry her up here in the next week or so. 
So she will not be getting dried up. She will be getting put on the rotation for AIing. So my vet also does AI. So once I see that the girls are in heat, I'll just give her a call and she can come out and she will AI that same exact day. So that is definitely Excuse nice. Excuse me, Red. You know what time it is, right? Let's go. Come on. <laughs> Let's go, Red. I know, girl. You didn't even get checked, so why are you all mopey? She don't want to get checked. That's true. All right, y'all. So it's getting late. Jesse already had to leave to take and pick up the boy. I still have to cook dinner and then feed all of the rest of the animals. But in summary for this video, we have learned two things today. One, always have a farm emergency fund for your animals. Today wasn't super expensive. It was a $60 farm call and then it was only $8 to preg check each of the girls. So it came to like $92 I think for the entire visit which is really cheap in my opinion. I know some areas it can be a lot more expensive but if Susan had not cleared out everything from her miscarriage then it would have cost us a lot more because she probably would have needed to have gone on antibiotics or may have had to have some sort of procedure done so we lucked out you know, that she was clean she is healthy we can ai her again and she'll probably be in about four to five months we got to do red first but all of the girls are healthy and happy it's just one of those freak things that happened so the other thing that we learned was don't dry up your cows until you know for sure they are going to calf because I was literally going to dry up sassy next week to get her ready for kidding or not kidding calving goat's kid cow's calf so if I would have dried her up and come February March when she was supposed to have calf and no calf came I would have had just a dry open cow which I wouldn't have been able to do anything with except AI and wait a year so that is one thing that we will be doing from now on on our 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 schedule is with ai 30 days later we confirm pregnancy and then probably about 120 days we'll again confirm pregnancy and then about 60 days before they are due to calf i will confirm pregnancy again via ultrasound or palpation to make sure that they still have a healthy calf and they haven't miscarried so we don't dry up a cow that isn't going to calf so that is our plan for the future i'm going to need to get a calendar to be able to keep track of all this stuff or an excel spreadsheet of some sort because it's a lot of information to track just for our six jersey cows and i already track a lot of stuff with our goats so maybe i need to find something a little bit better than the notes app on my phone so i still have a lot of stuff to do so if you like this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button we put out new videos every monday wednesday and friday and i'll see you guys in the next one bye